Just so you know, ADC mains, you deserve this. You went to college, got a degree in physics, went to grad school, ended up pursuing a doctorate, got a PhD in theoretical physics, wrote 15 different peer-reviewed studies, won a Nobel Prize in physics, got married, had two separate children who both went on to become some of the most intelligent people on the planet, and you still don't know how to play this champion properly. You probably fall somewhere between being an auto-filled ADC who just wants to play something that will be able to help your team when you inevitably go 0-10 because your team saw that you were auto-filled and decided to ignore bot lane harder than I avoid social events where I don't know everyone who will be there, and an ADC that sees the usefulness of this character and decided to main her because even if you go 0-10, you can still be super beneficial for your team. Either way, you probably absolutely love or absolutely hate the absurdly long voice lines that this character has. Oh boy, do I get to call someone else gay for the 9,000th time because they only liked this character after they saw Arcane? Yes. Yes, I do. You are gay. You are a lesbian. You are a big part of the LGBT community. And honestly, that's kind of awesome that you're so accepting of yourself. Again, this all applies to you even if you're a dude. Look, if you're not trying to be the next T1 or Hums or insert other generic Draven player here that calls all of his teammates idiots, then you're probably not an actual Draven main. And I say this knowing full well I'll see my comments be like, No, I'm better than T1, you should actually check me out on Twitch, I'm better than that loser! And you're doing one of those no mic, no face cam, only dubstep music streams that no one actually likes watching outside of stream highlights. By God, do you think that you are the coolest person to ever exist and probably think that nothing you could ever do would be the reason that you lose games? I swear, it's almost comical at this point to see y'all roasting your teammates in all chat and swearing you're not the problem while being 0-20 because you never use your E to get away from the danger, you only use it to go into melee range against the Jacks. 4. 4. 4. Four. Look, we all know that you were influenced just a little too much by the old Harley Quinn from Batman the Animated Series, and I'll be honest, I definitely am as well, but you need to remember the cardinal rule because maining Jinx is very indicative of your type in women. Do not stick your dick in crazy. You love that Riot will never nerf this champion properly because her ass is so goddamn fat that they need to keep her relevant or nerds on the internet won't spend all of their money on her next prestige skin. You're the nerds on the internet, if that wasn't clear. You cry yourself to sleep every single night, wishing that Riot didn't do everything that they did this champion to keep her weak for so long, and still do to make sure she's never truly the most effective pick, all because she has one of the most game-breaking passives if she's anywhere near being strong. You get no bitches, absolutely no hoes, no female attention. The last woman to give you any sort of physical affection was your mom. In fact, I'm pretty sure you're banned from going out in public due to your negative levels of riz. You will probably cry, rage, poop your pants, and overall just make your team feel like terrible people because they aren't doing literally everything in their power to peel you and keep you from dying while you're trying to go into melee range against the enemy jacks. I mean, how dare they not reach the enemy team's screens and turn their computers off so that they can't kill you? How dare they? If you don't get a support like Nami or Melio who perfectly compliments every single part of your kit, then you're just going to whine for the entirety of the game because you can't stand the idea of your support not conforming to literally every single thing that you want, and any support player that plays with you best believe that if they miss a single ability, you'll be dashing directly into the enemy team and ulting into a wall. You hit one amazing ult early on in your career of playing Misfortune, and you've been chasing that high ever since. Your brain is ruined from that dopamine rush, and you'll never get it again. I swear to god, I literally haven't seen anyone play this champ besides myself since her release. Like, why is it that no one plays her when she's honestly not that bad from what I can tell off of the stats? Is it that she's not fun for some people? Is it the thought of not being a ranged ADC? Like, what's going on here, man? Oh, you poor bastard, thinking that you were going to get a good ultimate skin only to basically be given a slightly better legendary skin. I'd point and laugh, but that'd be harsh. However, you still play Samira and think that you're better than everyone else because you're an ADC that can destroy a whole team off of one button, so... <laughs> you paid $30 for a legendary skin. <laughs> everyone hates you. Not even just like a strong dislike, no, everyone legitimately hates you and believes that the game of League of Legends would be a better place if you just straight up stopped playing it altogether. 
Not even like a roll swap, just stop playing League of Legends. Best pushing power and wave clear in the game? Check. Super good ability to ward off assassins and engage opportunities all in one? Check. Team wide buff to make sure your team fights are even better than they normally are? Check. All this and more on somehow the worst ADC ever because none of you know how to position properly. You wanted to initially play him as a support because that's what most people do when they move from mid lane to bottom lane with this champion, but after a few games you realize that being the support also means you have to deal with helping the ADC get ahead and you didn't want to do that so now you play him ADC. You are so horny, it's honestly unbelievable. I mean, get yourself together, dude. Like, at least bookmark rule 34. You don't have to constantly have 50 tabs open, taking up all of your RAM because you can't lose your place, whatever that means for that site. You want to be rat IRL so bad that it's honestly kind of disgusting. Like, you wished you had the ability to do what he does and pray every night to Jesus himself just wishing that you could even join L9 and be like the cool kids and I'm here to let you know that it's not happening, buddy. You're gonna stay stuck in bronze forever even after this rank to reset. You either play this champion as full attack speed on hit because arrows go brrrr, or play him full AP because <laughs> Funny number make tank die in one ability. <laughs> you want to be the equivalent of Gosu or Double Lift back in their glory days. You want so badly for people to think that you're just the coolest League of Legends player to ever have existed. You are so desperate for validation from other people that it's honestly not even sad at this point. It's just pathetic. You're either e-dating your Rakan duo or constantly spouting the absolute worst takes about how OP assassins are while playing an ADC that can go untargetable and has good CC which will counter any assassin if used properly but you refuse to learn how to use it properly. Honestly, if you've made it this far in the video, comment down below your take on what being an ADC Yasuo main says about these people. Lord knows there's so many different things I could say about them that I'm just gonna let the comments roast them instead because honestly, that's kind of funnier. You love the fact that people hate you. You queue up for ranked solo duo queue every single day knowing that at least two people are going to end the game hating you. Whether it's your team or the enemy team, you bask in the attention of people calling you out for playing this champion. I'm honestly not even surprised that only masochists play this champion. You're too much of a coward to bring this champion to mid lane where you might actually face some consequences for your actions, so instead you play him bottom lane so that you can pretty much do whatever you want and never get punished so you can easily scale up into a burst mage that will eventually just kill all the other ADC roster from 10 light years away. What is going on ladies and gentlemen, my name is Tarian and I hope you enjoyed what your ADC main says about you. After a long time, we're finally done with all of the role based says about you videos in this series and I don't know what else to do to be completely honest. So I'm going to be a good YouTuber and ask all of you what you want the next says about you video to be about and if you have any ideas, leave them down in the comment section below or check out my community tab where there will be a poll asking you what you think the next says about you video should be. If you enjoyed this video, go hit that subscribe button down below to be updated when any of my new content comes out, and I will see you all next time. Bye-bye!